it is four o'clock in the morning and I got off work like two two hours ago three hours ago I don't know I usually get off at two um, but we got up early because it was storming like crazy and um, we had nothing to do anyway so I started drinking um, as you can tell yeah um whiskey anyway treating myself um anyway so I decided I would do a DVD update somewhat tipsy anyway um here we go okay so first of all Walmart was selling these awesome box sets a box box sets of box sets mm. at Walmart for 17 bucks 18 bucks and uh the first one I picked up was the sci-fi one and it's got the space invasion 50 pack um oh it's like this and and then it's got the um uh, sci-fi classics haven't seen any of these yet but that I know of I don't know what they've got on here but yeah that's what they look like and then so yeah you've seen these you've seen these sold separately before but then they're together for cheaper and they got all them and then I got the comedy one which is awesome because it's got a lot of more well-known movies on it and it's got the um, comedy classics and then it's got the comedy kings and um, yeah, that's what it looks like. And I'm most excited about this one because I love the kid. Um, anyway. So, here we go to the movies. First movie. I've seen this movie about a billion times on TV. And then I even rented it. And so I just went ahead and bought it. Anyway. Suicide Girls. Nothing. No. I, th I got excited. I thought she was naked and I was like... No. Anyway, um, so yeah. Bully Suicide. I love Bully Suicide. My favorite bully. My favorite suicide girl. Anyway, this movie's horrible, but the photo shoots are awesome. And I love Suicide Girls. So yeah. Um, okay, the next movie is one of my favorite documentaries of all time. I could probably watch this. Once I watch this movie, I have to watch it again. Um, yeah, the wonder, wild and wonderful whites of West Virginia. Um, I have family up in West Virginia. They're nice Christian folks, so they're not like this. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. It's um, you laugh, I cry. Um, I don't know about you. I get really emotional. That baby stuff I can't handle. It's really sad. Um, to me. Anyway. Um. So yeah, definitely watch this. It's awesome. Um. Next one I got the other day, The Artist. Um, I thought it was good. I know a lot of people talk shit on it. Um, it won an Academy Award, so of course people can talk shit about it. Cause, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I liked it a lot. Thought it was overrated a little bit as far as the, yeah, the critic stuff go, but I liked it. Very just a good experience in the theaters. Um, next one. Now this is a surprise. I bought this because my friend told me I would like it and I just got the cheap version because I just I didn't feel like waiting for it on Netflix or Redbox and I got Project X. And since I've purchased this movie, I've seen it four times. Uh yeah, it's awesome. I liked it. I mean it's funny, it's not good, but I thought it was funny and every time I watch it I feel like I'm at that party, so my job, I can't party like that, so I just, I guess I get the experience here. And as you can tell, I um drink along with the movie because so I'm watching it right now. Um, no, number four. Um, next movie I've been meaning to get forever. Um, you know, teeth. Uh, yeah, I am a feminist, I guess. Um, yeah, I love this movie. It's hilarious. Um. Uh, she, the, her like little Christian character reminds me of a lot of girls I used to know in high school. Anyway, not that extreme. Okay, don't worry. Um, next movie I've been meaning is Spider Man Three Forever. It's just yeah, cheap. Anyway, I don't need to review that. And then this also got for cheap. I've been meaning meaning to finish my Halloween Halloween collection. Um, 
Next one I got for cheap, like two dollars. Prom night. I'm sorry. I know a lot of the people I don't hear I watch like this movie that I highly respect. You know who you are. I didn't like it. Jamie Lee Curtis, I like, but yeah. The disco dancing was worth two dollars. There you go. Um, next movie I've been meaning to get forever too. Uh, Day Watch. I I really like Night Watch, but I think I most like this better. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I like these movies; are really cool. Um, next movie I watched. Uh, is it Purple Noon or Purple Moon? The French original version of this. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. I mean, I love this movie, but um, yeah, I just watched it, and so it got me in the mood to watch this movie again. Um, I love yeah, my favorite types of movies are like psych psychopath. Um. Uh, what do you call it? Um, obsessed. <laughs> I am drunk. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, so this is definitely an awesome movie. Um, next movie I got is Batman Under the Red Hood. Um, this isn't my, one of my favorite Batman animated movies. I've been just really in the mood for Batman anything lately. Like, yeah, I'll watch a Batman musical right now, probably. Um, so yeah, that, that got that one. But my favorite one is Year One. I've been meaning to watch this forever, and I blind bought this, and it was awesome. I I think I watched it two or three times in a row. Um, yeah, really like this. It's very um psycho. Well, Under the Red Hood is very psychological too, but Batman Year One is pretty psychological too. You get to know about the man. You know, which is why I love Batman, you know, because it's all about psychology and, yeah. Anyway, and the next movie I got is Shame. Um, lots of sex. It's, I mean, that's what it's about. It's about sex. Um, if you're really into, again, psychology, get this movie, especially sex-related issues. Yeah, it's kind of sad. It kind of made me sad. Um... Yeah, just great acting, great writing, even though there's not a lot of dialogue. Um, yeah, Carrie Mulligan, Naked. Thank you. Um, next movie I got, um, just, you know, something I want in the collection for five bucks. Offside, it's about these, um, um, where are they from? Jeez. Um... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I suck right now. Anyway, so these, like, girls from the Middle East, of course, like, women are banned in a lot of places. Um, and they just want to watch soccer. That's it. And so they dress as men to get in, and, and then they get put in this cage, and, yeah. They just pretty much find any way they can to watch a game. It's awesome. Um, next movie I blind bought, which was, I was okay with it. It's not the greatest movie in the world, but uh, Chronicle, kind of, yeah, it's okay. Um, and then I'll go to mine now. Um, next movie I fucking love, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cuss, Hesher. I could watch this movie over and over again, and he's like my top eight favorite character of all time. Now, I want to be Hesher when I grow up, basically. I'm always thinking, what would Hesher do? Anyway, Natalie Portman's awesome. The kid is awesome. Rain Wilson is okay. Just stick with comedy, Rain, please. Anyway, um, so yeah, I love this movie. Please don't even rent this movie. Just buy it. Um, next movie. I wonder how I break this. I hate this movie. No comment. Um, Harold and Maude and Criterion. If you haven't watched Harold and Maude, my heart breaks for you. I love this movie. And yeah, I haven't opened up my Criterion yet. But uh, I just pre-ordered it and I actually forgot it was coming out. So, And then I got a phone call and I was like, okay, I'll be there. 
I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Drinking whiskey before I did this. Anyway, um, next movie is really good. And I never got it because it's always been too expensive. But I'll, it goes from like 25 bucks to 5 bucks. So I'm Reed Fish. Awesome. Very cute. Skylar Fisk. Fish. I don't know how to say it last name. Awesome singer. Um, I think she's focusing more on singing. I wish she would still act because she's awesome. Um, yeah. I love, I'm starting to love this kid. I don't know. Baruchel? J. Baruchel? I just got Goon, which, yeah. That's another DVD update. I don't know if I have it in here. Anyway, Goon is awesome. He's an awesome writer. He's going to be really, like, the next Jed Apatow kind of. Yeah, only he's Canadian, so he's even more awesome. Anyway, um, the next movie I got is Friday. Anyway, I don't know what to say about Friday. It's funny. Next movie I got is Goon, another one that I uh watched three times in a row. <sighs> this movie. If you love hockey, watch it. If you love Canada, Canadians, watch it. If you love beer, watch it. If you love guys, watch it. And by love guys, I mean like bromance. Like if you just like guy movies, this is what I want you to do this weekend. I want you to go buy this movie, get a 12 pack of beer, get some a friend, a man friend, lady friend, and watch this movie. And you will grow hair on your chest. And be funnier. Anyway. Um, next movie I got is John Carter. I don't know why everyone chat on this movie. I loved it. My friend and I were both film connoisseurs. We watch, you know, independent foreign, you know, off the wall, um, art house movies. And, um, we love this movie. Okay? <laughs> um, so yeah. I don't know. I loved it. It's very sci-fi. Um, if you're like Star Wars and Indiana Jones, it kind of... I'm not comparing them to that, but it's got that same rhythm. Um, yeah. I would have loved the hell out of this movie if I was a kid. Um, okay, next movie. I'm just going to hold them so I'm not bending over. Drive. I'm in the mood for Carrie Mulligan and Ryan Gosling. Alright. Um, I don't know if I reviewed that or not. Anyway, next one. I didn't like this much, but, um, $7 Blu-ray. New Blu-ray. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Next movie is Taking Lives. Okay, if you like them, like, thrill. I'm... If you like thriller movies, it's really awesome. Like, thriller, mystery. Yeah. Ethan Hawke, I love. Uh, I like Angelina Jolie and Kick-Ass female characters. Anyway, how long is this... 13 minutes. Okay, bye. I want to go get more drunker. Bye.